Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Masters. Now, there's one thing I need to say before we actually get started today is... Uh, one thing I didn't actually mention is that before we played, we started this Let's Play, I knew relatively enough about the story from Chapter 1 and 2. So I knew that like, I knew about Barry, I knew about a couple things, and I did know about Team Break 2, but I, I forgot they were there. I forgot that they revealed Lear and the um, Paulo guy, or whatever his name was. But from here on out, um, from Chapter 3, Rise Beyond the Flames, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I've got nothing so far. So, uh, we're gonna start with Volcanic Panic, and... I, I'm sorry, I suck at making introductions, but I don't know what it is. I'm in a good mood today. I woke up in quite a good mood, and I was like, you know what? Today I should record some Pokemon <laughs> Masters, so here we are. The play- oh, what was my Barry voice? It was like, wish my dad could see me now. Yeah, it was that, right? The place Paulo told us about should be around here, right? Mm. But yikes, this place is hot. Are there really trainers to come here on purpose? Here we go! Yeah! <laughs> Ha! Huh, I'm not done yet! Who's that? <laughs> I'm assuming one of those is Flannery, because I heard that voice. I guess there actually are people here. Look over there! Oh, it's Blaine. Okay, it's Blaine and Flannery. Is that all you've got, Flannery? Get back up! Let's do this! Uh, what? Well, oh, God. I'm not done yet! Excuse me. Hey, you guys are trainers, right? Can we ask you a question? <laughs> hmm? What's up? We're looking for people to join our PML team. We, we've got like 700 members already, but like, okay, that, that's an over, that's way an overstatement. I got like 10 characters last episode, and I did their little uh, respective stories on the channel. If you want to go check that out as well, but yeah, we're looking for people to join our PML team. What? Oh, the PML? I see, but I'm training with Blaine here, so. I can be an awesome trainer. Uh, uh, let me say that again. I'm training with Blaine here so I can be an awesome trainer like my grandpa. Thanks! I'm flattered, you ass, but I want to focus on getting stronger right now. Hmm. Oh, man, you're not going to compete? Well, I guess we can't force you. <laughs> I see you've made your way back to pass you as well, Blaine. Didn't think I'd see you here. <laughs> Pleasure running into you too, Brock. Seems like you've got yourself a pretty strong team here. Hmm. Hmm. I just had a brilliant idea. See, I've been thinking of moving on to a new training area here pretty soon. Hey! Sorry to spring this on you guys, but how would you feel about battling Flannery here? Sure, let's do it right now. <laughs> Whoa there! Pump the brakes a bit, would ya? I didn't mean right this second. There are a lot of other sync pairs that came here to train. A lot of hot-blooded ones just like us. <laughs> how about you battle your way through them and finally battle Flannery at the top of the volcano? Oh, so it's like what? your average class trial. What? You want me to represent all the other trainers here and stand atop the volcano? As the final trainer to beat? This is an Elite Four! Mm. I'm a gym leader, not an Elite Four member. Oh gosh, that's like a pretty big role. Fired up! Wait, why am I hesitating? Blaine's entrusting me to represent the volcano as the strongest trainer of all of us. Here we go! I'll show you what I'm made of. Come see me at the top, if you can. Okay, let me just- <laughs> I should have probably practiced. If I know no one's going to be voicing Flannery, uh, or like whatever Flannery sounded like, I should have done some- some preparation beforehand, because that- that voice, like, I think I'm quite good at voice acting for the most part, but there are some voices that just really hurt my throat. Like that one! <laughs> well, look at that kid go. Sorry to put all of this on you kids, but- could you do me a favor and humor her for a bit? I'd be most Don't worry, we won't waste your time. You're looking for team members, right? I'm sure you'll find a few great ones. Here we go! Good deal! Thanks for looking out, old man. Let's get to it, Creeper. Alright, there you go. So I guess it's like the quest to beat Flannery. Two battles, challenge on the volcano. Barry's Pokemon uses- I've used Barry before, why is it talking me through this? Barry's Pokemon uses water type moves, so having him on your team will give you an advantage. Well, I guess, in that case... Um, I have been doing some training in between episodes. Edit, though. This is gonna be, like, the first battle where I don't use Rosa, it seems. I'm gonna put Jack in the middle. And then, Barry is my other one. Um... The thing is, though, is I actually, in between episodes, have been training with Flannery as- Oh, uh, not Flannery, uh, Roxanne. But Roxanne's still not as good as Brock at the moment, so... 
Actually, hang on. But she does have X defense all, so I might use her. Going exploring? Uh, so yeah, for the moment, let's um. I shall accompany you. Let's let's have let's have our not not Flannery Jesus Roxanne on the team, uh, as opposed to Brock. Oh, jeez, okay. I thought, is that a fancy or something? Me? When it comes to camping, safety comes first. Same goes for Pokemon battling. Alright, well. Alright, now's my time to shine! Now's my time to shine! Okay, it's uh, right. against four people. Ah, Slugma. Let's go! Barry's strong against all of these guys. Oh, Go. I forgot bubble hits everyone. Go for it. Go okay, for just it. just press that then. I guess we we'll just leave it to Barry. Gotta take turns in battle too. Okay, that that's uh leave it to me. I'm gonna use ancient power. Go. This game is starting to get quite easy. I say that taking a flamethrower. There you go. No, oh, shucks. <laughs> I thought you said something else then. Camper Anton. By the way, people have been like, well, no one's been asking me really, but just in case anyone's curious, um, chances are this might happen, but um, I don't think I'm going to keep Jack on my team the whole game because uh, Creeper, sorry, <laughs> his name is Creeper. Um, one thing I did actually find out about this game that did surprise me, but it does conceptually make sense, like, if, if that's the right word to use, uh, is that I don't actually need to go into a fight with Creeper on my team, with your, the player character on my team. The problem is, the only reason I'm, I'm not doing that is because, as it stands right now, um... Creeper is the only good electric type user on my team. I've got Lieutenant Surge 2, but he only has Thunderbolt, so that's not going to do me any any decent favors at the moment. So, go uh, for it. For the moment, I'm just going to stick with um. I'm going to stick with Jack. I feel like wasting a potion. Game hasn't exactly been too difficult so far. I mean, I'm sure it will get harder, but... For the moment, it's been pretty decently alright. Go for it! No way! My objective at the moment of what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get enough money to get the evolution stones so I can evolve... Possibly evolve Rose's Snivy. I think that's the one I'm going to prioritize. I don't know if, um... I don't see why this wouldn't be the case, but I don't know if Barry's, uh, Piplup evolves. But even then, I'm going to prioritize Rosa at the moment, because the difference is the... I don't know if I've ever, ever, ever made this clear. I think my next, like, if, like... I recently finished... Uh, uh, start again. Sorry, let me say it from the beginning. I See recently that, finished my series on counting down now. my top 50 characters from the Danganronpa series. I'm thinking what my next list might be, might be a Pokemon one, outside, like, the, the, the first list it isn't a Danganronpa one. Um, but, um, the first list it isn't a Danganronpa one is going to be a Pokemon one, I'm thinking that it should be, like, a best starter Pokemon video, like ranking my favourite starter Pokemon. I mean, if you've been around my channel for a while and seen a lot of my Pokemon content, you'll know what my favourite is. But it's like due to the placement on the list. And one thing I can say, like just as a bit of a spoiler for the list, is it's a pretty probable chance that Piplop's going to be quite high up. I mean, like, he's going to be close to like the bottom of the list. Um... And the only reason for that is because I'm not the biggest fan of his evolution line. Piplop is like the only member of his evolution line that I actually like. Because like, Empoleon's useless and Prinplop is possibly the ugliest Pokemon today, in my opinion. Like, 
I know people are always giving Pig Knight crap because it looks ugly, but in all honesty, I actually think that um, Piplup's evolution, Prinplup, is worse. Um, but anyway, uh, moving on. Um, I'm actually going to cut this video in half, so we're going to stop here and then I'll continue next episode. So we'll see you in a second.